Hey guys, it's Sim Queen, and this is part 251 of the Aspirations Challenge. Uh, so the welcome wagon just started. This is Jason, who is actually Jackson's dad. And then uh, Ty is here as well. So we're going to chat with them. Oh, and who's this? Jacqueline. Oh, that is, I think that's Jackson's mom, maybe? Uh, Scarlett's off doing her own thing. <laughs> she is hanging out with the chickens, collecting the eggs. Uh, this is kind of what she would prefer to be doing anyway. We did actually get a cow. Her name is Clover. We've been working on their relationship a little bit because she tried to smother Clover with love in the last episode and Clover just lost her mind, did not want that. So we got to work at this relationship a little bit and it's part of her aspiration to befriend a cow. So we're going to show dance move, vent about life and pet enthusiastically until we're friends oh there we go okay that was way easier than i thought it would be befriend a chicken cow or llama so that's done um then we just need to fertilize three plants or oversized crops and we can probably do that no problem i'm gonna go have her clean both of the coops oh no just one of them scatter some feed also, the baby is due in this episode as well. Um, we don't know the gender. I've decided not to find out. Um, really, for any of their pregnancies, I think it doesn't really matter too much. I don't. I just. I don't think Scarlett would care. Honestly, they have plans to have so many babies that this. It just. It doesn't matter. I, th I feel like we're gonna get a couple of each, so it's fine. Um, Jackson's being a good guy out here, entertaining our company. Just because Scarlet's clearly not that into it. Uh, what else can I have him do? Um, our crops are looking good. So Jackson planted all of this yesterday. And, oh, she needs to go to the washroom. You know what? I'm going to put... Because she keeps having to go in the house um, for all of her... Like, whenever she cleans out the, um, the coops or the shed. So I'm just going to put a trash can right there. On the road to fame. No, that's not something you would care about. All right, let's have her go inside. She can go to the washroom. Looks like Jason has made himself uh, perfectly at home. He just grabbed a plate out of the fridge. See, if you go to someone else's house in this game, they will not put up with that. Remember when we talked about Cory Vitor? We went on a very nice date. Cool. That's great. Um, okay, now Jackson, what do we want to do with you? I could also plant things here too. Um, yeah, we could do flowers, vegetables. I mean, the list goes on. Huh, what do we want to have Jackson do? Honestly, I think our crops are too small. This is just not very much. So we could probably work on that. Uh, another thing. Oh, we should go get another cow. That's what we should do. Uh, this one will do a brown cow. Okay, perfect. So... Let's also name the cow. Um, we don't want to name it's not just brown cow. <laughs> Where is the option here? There we go. Bell? Uh, no, because no, I don't want that. Um, let's call her Dixie. So we've got Clover and Dixie. I think that's gonna be good. Um, so we'll feed milk clean. I mean, most of the animal work I th or animal care is going to be Scarlet's job, but now and then Jackson will have to do that as well. Uh, okay. So we need to fertilize three plants or oversized crops. I don't know if we have what we need for that. I don't think we do. Scarlet does not have high enough gardening skill. Okay. We got to work on our gardening. So maybe we could just plant some stuff over here. Let's get some fruit, herbs, and um, vegetables. Oh, they're in her inventory. Okay, yeah. This works a little bit differently. Uh, so we need to open the seed packs. Also, um, the, their main income, or their only income, is going to be from the farm. So I don't want to have to constantly uh, sell things, <laughs> like, every day. Like, sell all of our milk and whatever else we have. So I'm thinking what I'm going to do is just like at the end of this entire generation or very rarely will I actually sell those things. It's more of an investment that we'll just cash in on later. 
Uh, and what we're doing now is just kind of building Scarlet's gardening skill. We could also plant bell peppers. I guess it doesn't really matter. And then here we can plant parsley, sage, more parsley. We have a lot. We pretty much got all the same stuff, unfortunately. Uh, I do want to plant an apple tree, though. So I'm going to plant that one there. Actually, I'll plant a couple. There we go. Got those going. Because uh, I can see her doing like a lot of canning and like preserves and stuff. So we can use um, quite a bit of our stuff, like our apples from that. So, oh, Jackson, I want to get him a cat because he is a cat lover. That was kind of on my list for things to do in this episode. So we will hire a service. Um, adopt a cat. And I already have a name in mind, unless there's a really good name on here already. I'm trying to go with like country themed names. Um, which one do I like? Oh, I like them all, but I really like this one, Hilda, but I was hoping for a boy cat. Ooh, this one. I like the, well, I kind of like the name Red. We'll see what we get. I mean, honestly, I don't name, I don't mind that name, but I did have a name in mind already. Okay, let's water everything we planted. Oh, and she needs a nap. Kai wants her to come and visit, but we just do not have time for that. Okay, where is our, oh, there he is. The adoption agent. Let's do a funny introduction. Actually, no, it doesn't matter. We don't need to talk to him. He's just here to give us a cat. Or is he? <laughs> oh, there it is. Oh, he's so cute and small. I really like him. Friendly introduction. This is going to make Jackson so happy as a cat lover. Oh, he's a mean kitty. Okay. <laughs> That's okay. We can work with that. I'm used to it. Honestly, in my mind, like all cats are, are kind of mean. So I can, we can work with this. Get to know. I think we're kind of looking for a bit of an aggressive cat anyway. Like we want ourselves a little, a big old farm cat. <laughs> that's what I, that's what I think Jackson wants. Uh, and we will adopt him because I don't care what his traits are. I want him in my life. Um, yeah, I don't think we actually ever learned what his trait was. I kind of like the name Red. But then, yeah, Red. Yeah, you know what? I'm going with it because it actually does suit him. The name I had in mind was Waylon, but now I'm thinking like that would be a good name, that'd be a good baby name, honestly. So for a boy, I'm gonna keep that. Play with laser pointer. Territorial, clever, and fluffy. Okay, that means he's gonna leave a mess everywhere. Offer friendship and pick up. There we go. Jackson finally got the cat he always wanted. Uh, Kitty from meeting new cat friend. Who can resist these fluffy little creatures? A cat to call my own. Oh, that's kind of cute. From adopting a cat. Adopting a cat is always a cause for celebration, but especially for a lover of cats like Jackson. Okay, so kittens can't get upstairs, so I'm going to have him get up. Or pick him up. Scarlet, I'm going to make you maybe go to the washroom. This is unfortunate because pregnancy is kind of hard on Scarlet. And my plan was to have like four kids. So, or maybe even five. So that does complicate things. Okay, put red down here. Uh, there's a kitty litter uh, box here in the laundry room. And there's also cat bowl here by the back door. And then upstairs there are more like scratching posts and like little cat houses and another food bowl. So red is pretty much set up, I would say. We'll get Jackson to grab some food. And then unfortunately, I'm probably going to send Scarlett back to bed. She is not feeling well. I think she has a cold on top of everything else. So that's probably why her energy is depleting so quickly. I'll have Jackson clean up. What is wrong with Red exactly? He is not happy, but I don't know. I don't even know where he is. Is he stuck? Oh, he's on the scratching post. Okay. Does he know there's food here? Because he's in the yellow, so something's obviously wrong, but I don't know. Okay, there we go. He's going to eat. So he does know there's food there. I think he's going to eat it. Yeah, okay. He should be perfectly happy. I'm not sure 
why he oh there we go he was just hungry and i guess didn't know where the food was but that's all worked out uh, i just want to see if today is the day she's gonna have the baby i think it should be uh yeah so pretty much any time uh in the next 24 hours scarlet will have the baby again don't know the gender but i already have uh two names picked out i went on like a i googled i think i literally typed in uh country baby names and a whole list came up of names that i actually think are really cute so um yeah we're gonna we'll get a chance to use quite a few of them for what i have planned i think they're gonna have a really big family god help us <laughs> it's it's always i always love the idea of having a big family but then you get so overwhelmed with that many sims in your house um so i'm not gonna have her like rapid fire babies we're not just gonna have like one and then another and then another like all in a row i think i'll give her a break in between for a while because pregnancy so far has not been kind to scarlet she's not loving that and today is love day maybe we could do like a little picnic somewhere Oh, now he's sick from being near a sick sim. Seriously, from life. Jackson seems to have upset some sims. Expect nasty texts. I really don't know what he did. That doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me. <laughs> so yeah, maybe they could do their chores. Oh, she's still feeling sick. I was thinking they could do their chores and then go for like a little picnic date somewhere, but they're both just feeling so crappy today. I'm not sure if that's going to be in the cards. Um... But no matter what, we do need to do like our farm chores because nobody else is going to do it for us. So I'm going to have her go out and uh, collect the eggs from both of the coops, scatter some feed, take care of Clover because she needs help. We need to feed her, clean her. I also think that maybe Scarlet should be doing the gardening as well so we can build her gardening skill a little bit. Yeah, you know what? I think I'll have Jackson go deal with the animals. They'll, they'll trade off because we need to build that garden skill. Oh, you know what? She can also... Hold on a second. She can... I believe you can use things that you clean out from the animal sheds for fertilizer. So I'll have her do that. Kai, I know you've been avoiding me. Oh my god. She just grew up and got her own life. Like, parents have a hard time with that, clearly. See, I thought she could use that as fertilizer, but she's just throwing it in the garbage. So maybe not. Can she not clean that? There we go. She can clean that one. Clean this one. I was considering getting a fourth animal, but I'm actually already struggling with the two that we have. Or not, not for a third, but already this is a lot. Yeah, see, why is she throwing that in the garbage? I don't want you to throw that out. Maybe I'll just have her cancel the interaction before she can throw it away, and then we can use it as fertilizer. Okay, now don't throw it away. Let's just see if it's going to be trash or something else. Uh, let's put it in her inventory and just see what happens. Um, over here we will... Oh my god, these need help. We don't have any fertilizers. Can I not? Oh, I can purchase fertilizers. Okay. I'll get three. Uh, how do I do this now? She's a higher gardening skill. All right, let's go spray for bugs and weed. Just work on the garden for a bit. Okay, is Dixie happy? I forget that you can hover over them and see what their needs are. I think they're both perfectly fine, though. So I'm going to leave... Both of them alone. Our chicks are so cute. And there's bunnies. This is fun. <laughs> this I'm having fun with this already. I know we had like the kind of country life in the last house that we were in. But this one even more so. And I'm really enjoying it. And he's an animal enthusiast. So it makes sense. Um, let's pet the rooster chick enthusiastically. How is this gardening skill doing? Level two. Can we fertilize yet? Yeah, we can. Okay. Let's work on that. Oh, you know what? I think the super vitality fertilizer is from 
the animal shed. So I think that she, basically they take the fertilizer and then throw the rest in the garbage. So that must be how that works. Uh, we already completed our next, where is he going? Skating around. We don't have time for that. Uh, we already completed our next milestone. So she's already on the third one. Uh, which is why I wanted her to get pregnant fairly soon because I knew this generation would not take very long to complete her aspiration. Okay, unfortunately she's got to take a bathroom break. Uh, that did not take long. I can't wait for her to not be pregnant. This has been rough. Okay, use the washroom. How are we doing out here? You know, on second thought, I don't think I will increase our our crops because this is already a lot to keep up with. I was planning on them going on a picnic today and we clearly don't even have time for that. Bethany, what happened to us? Are you too good for me? Well, because I don't actually know you. <laughs> That's why you're not much of a priority. Poor Jackson just spends his whole day doing this. I'm already looking forward to the kids being old enough to help out around the house or around the farm at least. Okay, do we have a picnic basket somewhere? I think we do. Yeah, right here. The problem is you have to put food in the picnic basket. Um, you can plant, you can like pack away eggs and bananas, but that's not really food. Um, okay, here, let's get her to serve some lunch. We will do... Uh, BLTs. That's easy enough. I'm just trying to make make some time for their love day celebration. Uh, oh, let's... Did these... Did the water already turn on? I think it did. They look like they're already watered. Okay, let's put this over here. I, I have such a hard time with the picnic baskets. I'm not really sure how they work. Okay, hurry up. It's just a sandwich. It should not take that long. She's also feeling depressed from pregnancy mood swing. Yeah, I'll be glad when this is over. It's a lot. Okay. And then we can, I think what we do is put... No, don't need that. Let's put this in here if it works. Oh, it actually worked. Okay, that's like a first. Uh, now we need to find that picnic table. There it is. All right. <laughs> I just wanted them to have a little love day celebration. Um, empty basket, set up picnic. That's what I want. This has literally never worked before. Jackson, don't leave. That was it? Okay. There you go. Grab a serving. This is their love day. Whisper sweet nothings. Uh, what can we do without them getting up? Pretty much nothing. A blow a kiss. I'm gonna put this back. Probably a bad idea. I really should have put that in the fridge. Can we do something like give Love Day gift? Um, give him an apple jam. That's the only gift she ever gives. Uh, his Christmas gift, you guys didn't see that unfortunately because that was one of the episodes that didn't record. But she gave him uh, jam for Christmas as well. Invite to feel baby, that's adorable. Let's do that. She looks like she has tears in her eyes. Like, this has been such a struggle. Okay, let's get a picture. Because th this couple, I, I've i always loved them. I think that they're so cute. That's why I was in such a rush for them to get married. Um, give love day gift. Can we give flowers? Ooh, rock climbing gear. Interesting. And then I think if we do the romantic interaction and offer a rose, maybe that counts as giving flowers. Oh my god, I can't even find it. Okay, it's obviously not in here, so that's fine. You know what? They had their little picnic. That's m honestly more than uh, what I do with my other Sims, which is nothing. So. Uh, we're gonna call that a win. Have her go take a nap before she gives birth because it's gonna be a long day. 
I don't know why they do dishes in the bathroom sink. It's kind of weird. Uh, put this in the fridge. Ty, I planned a, a date with you here today. I thought we could see how things went. What? No. That has been a, a theme lately. Like the the um, in-laws keep wanting to go on dates. And it's inappropriate. It's creepy. Okay, that better not be him doing that again. Want to watch the series? Oh, that's so awkward. Her dad is totally hitting on her husband. Uh, not cool. I guess things with Ty did not get better. I mean, they were having problems in the last episode where they were fighting and honestly kind of hated each other, which I find kind of sad. Um, you know what? I never should have planted this stuff, honestly. This is going to be too much to keep up with. Uh, let's just sell everything. I don't know. That was a bad choice. Uh, we could also water, probably, or maybe not. I mean, these are all seasonal, so it's not like they're always going to be here, but it still kind of feels overwhelming. Um, this chicken coop is dirty. I'm going to go and deal with that. Um, there's still eggs. There's a lot of work. <laughs> I didn't realize how much work this would be. We were used to having like one chicken coop, one animal, and everything was kind of easy. Okay, so this is good. Uh, it's clean. This one's good and clean. I think that's all we have to do. The other animals have put themselves to bed. The crops look good. Finally, we can do something else. You know what? Maybe you can go skate around for a bit. Can she even do that when she's pregnant? No. Yeah, that's rude. <laughs> I mean, I didn't think she would. Pro I, I assumed that would be an issue. This poor girl is just so exhausted. It's 7.30 at night. And she's fast asleep. And I think, you know, we have just some laundry to catch up on. Maybe I'll just let her sleep until the baby comes. I don't know what else to do, really. Jackson's having a good time. Apparently this is exercise, so that's well, good. This should really be a roller rink, not a skating rink, but that's okay. It's, this isn't exactly seasonally accurate. Also, how come Red is always so upset? I don't know what his problem is. Like, he seems to always be in the red, but I have no idea. I don't know. He knows where the food is. There's food available. I do not see the issue. Scarlet is still asleep. Her energy is not going up very fast, though, so clearly she really needs this. I was hoping she would have given birth by now. Okay, and then we'll go to sleep. And, you know, I'll have her get up and go to the washroom before she goes back to bed. Actually, she's kind of hungry. Let's feed her first. <laughs> this poor woman. Uh, we will grab some more leftovers. I think this may be the youngest pregnancy I've ever had. Oh, no, it's not. No. We've had teen pregnancies before in this series. Uh, I think one for sure, maybe even two. I can't quite remember. But she just seems so young to me because I guess she was a teen when she got married. So in my eyes, it's like she hasn't grown up since then. Uh, but she really has. Where is Red right now and why is he miserable? Okay, he's in a slightly better mood. I don't know where he's running off to. Okay. Oh, so cute. He found a little corner on the rug. Uh, okay, Scarlet has gone into labor, which I'm very thankful for. We're gonna. This nightmare is almost over. Um, <laughs> let's go have this baby and get that over with, because I feel bad for her. It's been a. It's been a rough one. I hope it's only one. I didn't even think about twins, honestly. Didn't even occur to me. Okay, it's a girl. That's good, because I like the name that I have selected for a girl. So we're gonna go with Annabelle. Um, Annabelle M Montgomery. I feel like that is a pretty good country name. Like, a, just a, I don't know. She's going to be a Southern Belle for sure. Let's get Jackson to go back to bed because you're not helping. Okay. Feed her. Rock her. Cuddle her. We are officially parents to, I don't even know which generation we're on, to be honest. I should definitely look into that. But as of right now, I don't even know. But I'm excited it's a girl. For some reason, I like the female heirs better, or I guess heiresses. 
I just find it a little more interesting. I don't, well, I think, honestly, it's the clothes. I'm, I'm not even going to beat around the bush. I much prefer giving makeovers and dressing up female sims just because the items are so much better. So, yeah, that's that's definitely the reason. Okay, uh, no, you need to go back to sleep, and then you need to go back. Why do we want to get up at 2 a.m.? There we go. Love day was awful. I didn't necessarily think so. There were only three traditions to check off, and we did two of them each, so it shouldn't have been that bad. But I guess, whatever. <laughs> they, they'll they move on. It'll be all right. Uh, so yeah, we're just going to have Annabelle for now, and then we'll probably have another baby a la later down the road. I just wanted to get that first generation born, because like I said, this aspiration will not take long. We're already halfway through it. Okay, it's talk like a pirate day, which is something I should have gotten rid of a long time ago. It's just a very annoying tradition. I'm gonna have Scarlet go and serve some breakfast. We're gonna do French toast. And then Jackson can feed, talk, and rock to Annabelle. He also has some laundry to do. I may have overwhelmed myself with this lot. I just thought it'd be, since they weren't going to have jobs, I thought that this would be easy to keep up with, but it's kind of not. We have the household chores, the kids, um, the two cows, all the chickens. I think we have eight altogether. Um, we have these plants up here by the house, which I think I'm just going to get rid of. That's just too much commitment. Um, these crops here, which take longer than you would think. And I mean, any hobbies they want to do, they just don't have time for. So we'll put this laundry away. I guess I'll have Jackson do some laundry. Yeah, I may have been overwhelmed. And I can't believe I thought I would have three animal sheds. That's clearly way too much. All right, so they both seem happy. I'm going to end this episode here. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, comment down below, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.